All right, this is going to be 9.3. going to do this uh, extremely quick. I'm right, going to do this extremely quickly. So you have this formula is equal to mc squared. Um, if you have matter, right, they collide, they, tr they turn into energy, and that energy results in more matter. All right. Uh, so here... And C is the speed of light. You have this equation right here. You don't really need to understand too much about it. You need to understand this type of graph though, right? If you divide E by M. Uh, let me do it for you, right? So let's say we have the equation. Oh, let me write it. Just make it a bit easier for me. Let's say you have an equation. E, well, let's go right here. E is equal to mc squared, right? If we divide by m on both sides, get E over m. Turns out your slope is y over x. And if your E is on the y and your x and your m is on the x uh, axis, well, turns out c squared is your slope here. Right, so in the energy mass graph, your slope is c squared, and it's not a parabola as you might expect because you have the 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 exponent. But the way it works here is that well, clearly, if you do e over m, you get c squared, and that's going to be your slope. All right, you can watch this video yourself. Uh, maybe the first five minutes, you don't need to watch everything. All right, let's do. Two first, so the energy equivalent of a rest mass of a proton is what? Uh, if you go to your reference table, All right? We want we want to know the energy. We want to know the energy of this uh, proton. Uh, we don't know the mass. We do know the speed of light, though. Uh, well, where do we find the mass of a proton? Well, you go to your reference table again. Uh, you look here, first page. Mass of a proton is what? Mass of a proton is 1.67. 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27 kg. And then you're going to do your math here. Right? You're going to do E is equal to mc squared. mc squared, so e is equal to 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27, uh, 3 times 10 to the 8 squared. Uh, and then you should get a certain number. I'm not going to calculate it for you, but you get, you get the gist. 2c is the same exact thing. They give you the mass, you're looking for energy, and you speed of light. Uh, 2D, you first have to convert your energy to joules, right? So it says 24 megajoules here. You need to convert the joules using reference table. And on your reference table, it says that one mega is equal to 10 to 6 joules, if I recall correctly, which I do. I want to focus on 2A, though. 2A. So 2A is... a Bit, uh, it might confuse you. So it says 2A is that tritium nucleus is formed by combining two neutrons and a proton. The mass of this nucleus is 9.106 times 10 to the negative 3 universal mass units. So this is something new. This is a new unit. And so we're going to abbreviate universal mass unit as U. And they want to know, well, when this, when this nucleus is... When this nucleus is formed, what is the combined mass that was lost? So we need to calculate, well, how much energy was released when the nucleus was formed? This is your mass. This is the amount of mass lost. Well, if you go to your reference table, right? So it says here, one universal mass unit, U, is equal to this much energy. So we ha here we have one U is equal to 9.31 times 10 to the 2 
mega electron volts. All right, and we're gonna So you're gonna convert this, right? You wanna convert this to mega electron volts. You're gonna convert this, substitute it there, 9.106 times 10 to the negative three times 9.31 times 10 to the two, and then you will get your energy. Okay? That's the answer. Uh, I'm not gonna do the math, and that's that's this unit.